Sheikh, uh, I have a question about spray bottle Udu. So there is a video in YouTube that how to perform Udu with a spray bottle. And in this, uh, this technique is really problematic because I see that in the first step, they say that wash your head. So that means just they wash their face. And they say that in Quran, it was written that uh, <clears throat> wash your face. And this washing your face is enough. You don't need to do rinse your mouth or nose. And then in the next step, they just wash their hands and wash their feet and other steps. But in the first step, it's just only washing face, not rinsing. So is this bottle is peudu, is valid? First of all, you must not learn your religion except from people who are trustworthy. You do not go to a witch doctor and ask him to help you with your stomach ache because he's a witch doctor. He's not a qualified surgeon or a physician that would know what to do. If you refuse and go to this witch doctor and he gives you cockroaches uh, um, uh, fried with a uh, rooster's head and this and that and tells you to drink it, you should bear the consequences. You don't learn your religion from such people. Now, having said that, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, the four pillars directly, clearly for people to see of wudu, which is washing the face, washing the hands to the elbows, wiping the head, and washing the feet up to the ankles. And there is a fifth pillar hidden, which is the order, face, arms, head, feet. You can't swap between these four because Allah inserted something to be wiped between two organs to be washed. And this indicates that the order is mandatory. So this is a pillar. And the sixth pillar is that you do not leave a gap because the process of wudu has to be simultaneously done. Now, what you're saying is Allah did not mention rensing the mouth and the nose in the Quran. And this is true. But scholars say not mentioning it does not mean it is not mandatory because the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu was salam, had never in his life abandoned rinsing his mouth and nose when performing wudu. And this is included in washing the faces as per the Quran. So washing the faces includes rinsing your mouth and nose, though it, it was not mentioned, but it is included. Likewise, wiping over your head, it includes wiping your ears, though it was not mentioned in the Quran. How do we know, Sheikh? Well, it's obvious. Muslims learn and take their knowledge from the Quran through the explanation of the Prophet ﷺ in the Sunnah. Otherwise, a smart jack or whatever would come and say in the Quran, Fajr is not mentioned to be two rak'ah, Maghrib three rak'ah, Dhuhr, Asr, and Isha to be four rak'ah. And that's true. So why do we pray it in this fashion? The answer is because the Prophet ﷺ taught us how to pray it in this fashion. So the Sunnah, Akhi, is an essential part and source of ilm, of knowledge, of legislation in Sharia. Without the Sunnah, you cannot be a Muslim. 
And this is an issue which secularists, among those called Muslims, liberals living in the Arab and Muslim world are fighting tooth and nail. They want to abolish the Sunnah. So when anyone says that Quran is enough, we don't want the Sunnah, disregard the Sunnah. What's the ruling on that? Every Tom, Dick and Harry knows that whoever claims that the Quran is sufficient and we have to disregard the Sunnah is a kafir. It's very simple because the Quran itself says you have to depend on the Sunnah and the teaching of the Prophet ﷺ. These liberals and secularists fight tooth and nail for Muslims to be confused and to abandon Sunnah. By abandoning the Sunnah, they've managed to demolish the structure of Islam. So once again, do not learn from such people and take your knowledge from the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the favorite generations of the Salaf, of the Sahaba, Tabi'een and Tabi'i Tabi'een.